Hey friends, Mr. Barry here. Welcome back to physical education class. And today we're gonna to be working on our volleyball skills. And we're gonna be learning how to set, which is when you're hitting the volleyball up above you with two hands. And we're gonna be learning how to do what's called a bump, which is when the ball is low and your hands are actually together and you're using your forearms to hit that ball up. So we're gonna be working on those skills today. What I want you to do Go ahead and find a ball that bounces easily, or if you have a balloon, that would work best because the balloon's gonna float down nice and slow. You can, it'll really allow you to use your form with setting or your form with bumping. So go grab that real quick, and let's go ahead and get started. Now that you got your ball or your balloon, whichever one you're gonna use, let's talk about setting first. And setting, is when you use your hands underneath of the ball. And what you're gonna, you're gonna have your hands kind of almost in a diamond shape. You see how that would make a diamond right there between these fingers? Okay, kind of makes a diamond shape or kind of almost like a triangle. And it's my thumbs and my index fingers. And that's gonna be the shape of my hands that are gonna be underneath the ball when I'm setting. And it's very key that they're actually not touching. You just want them a little apart when you're setting. So it's almost like a broken up diamond. When you set, you're gonna get underneath the ball, you're actually gonna use your legs to bend down and then you're gonna push up with your arms. Bend down with your legs and push up. And I'm gonna set in whatever direction I want the ball to go. Let's say I wanted to pass to another friend while we were playing volleyball and my friend was over there. What direction should I be facing? You're right, I'm gonna to wanna to face this way to set the ball to my friend. So if the ball's coming over the net, I'm actually gonna turn in the air to face my friend, to set it to them. Setting is what you use to pass the ball so that then someone can hit the ball over. Um, when you get older, you'll be able to spike it over the net. Maybe not yet, depending on how high that net is, but setting is gonna be how you're gonna be passing. You can also pa pass with a bump. You could even use the set to just hit it back over the net. So I got my diamond shape, okay? I'm underneath the ball, I'm gonna bend down, I'm gonna hit up as I hit up, I'm gonna extend my arms straight into the air. And I just wanna demonstrate it, and I want you to practice with me. As I do this, I want you to practice setting that ball at home by yourself for that balloon. We're gonna to try to keep it up, okay? Try not to let it touch the ground. You might have to move around a little bit. So don't set it too far right now. I just want you to set it nice and high up in the air. In volleyball, the higher you set it, the more time that gives for your team to get in the position to hit it back over or to pass it over to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just watch me. Okay, I'll go sideways, probably easier. And I'm just gonna set this ball. Okay, bending my legs, coming up, extending my hands up, extending my hands up, keeping it nice and high. I'm actually gonna do a bump there just because of where the ball was. Sometimes you might have to do a bump, okay? Setting it, extending my arms just like that. Okay, keeping that diamond position, using my legs to assist as I'm hitting the ball up. All right, now the next one we're gonna learn is a bump. Now when you do a bump, you're gonna take one hand out, put your other hand on top. I want you to do this with me. Okay, so one hand out, other hand on top, and then put your thumbs together. Okay, kind of looks like that. Hand out, hand on top, thumbs together. All right, that creates a nice surface for the ball to hit. It can also hit my forearms here, would be fine. What I don't want to do is to cross, not, never this, okay, this isn't good. See how I just, if I just bring my hands together, the ball could hit anywhere on these fingers. Those joints are exposed. I could actually, with a real volleyball, I could break one of my fingers by hitting the ball that way, and it could go in all kinds of different directions. That's not good. So instead, okay, I wanna bring my hands together, and then just, and that's very natural, hands and thumbs. It's quick, it's fast. Hands and thumbs. Nice flat surface, do not cross your thumbs on top. Once again, you can break a finger by doing that, okay? I'm just going right here, okay? Hands on the side, just like that, okay? Excellent. Let's go ahead, let's get ready to practice our bumping. Grab your ball again as we work on the bumping. You can use your legs again, similar to when we did when we did our set. Okay, same with the bump. You can actually come down with your legs and come up. You shouldn't have to swing 
your arm in crazy directions. If you do, you're not using your legs enough. Okay, I wanna come down with my legs and just come up. That's gonna create a nice flat and even surface and a consistent bump. That's gonna be a nice pass to my teammates. You can use a little of your arms depending where you're at if you have to or if you're out of play to hit it way back. So let's go ahead, let's try that. I want you to try to keep the ball in the air by bumping. Let's see how many we can get. All right, you ready? Let's give it a shot, okay? So I'm gonna bump using my legs, coming straight up, keeping that ball up in the air, nice and controlled, okay? See how it'll even just kind of bounce. I don't have to do too much. If I'm in the right placement, it should come right on back. Very, very good, friends. I was outstanding working on your set and on your bump. Now to finish off today's lesson, let's practice alternating between the set and the bump. And so I'm gonna set it in the air and then I'm gonna use the bump and I'm gonna set it and use a bump. Let's just do a couple of those to practice. And then after this video, you can keep going just on your own. The more you do it, the easier to get to maintain control being underneath that ball. So I'm gonna do a set first and then a bump. Set and a bump. Okay, remember, I'm never crossing those fingers on my bump using my legs. And sometimes you might have to do one or the other just to hit it back. You can even technically use one hand like this. That is also legal. What you can't do in volleyball, if the ball is low and you hit it this way, it's actually called a carry if I were to go like that. That would not be good. That's why you have to do the bump. But if your hand is high like this, you can do that. The other thing you can't do is you can't catch it and then throw it into the air. That's kind of a different sport when you catch the ball, maybe like football or basketball. In volleyball, we have to bounce it. We have to hit it back up. Very, very awesome job, friends. Proud of you. Continue practicing for about another 10 minutes, and I will see you next time for gym class. Bye, friends.